Oh, how are y'all doing today? I am doing so fine. Y'all, guess what I did today? I got up this morning and I accomplished something that I have been putting off since Thanksgiving. I deboned my leftover Thanksgiving turkey. And I did that by taking it out of the freezer. Because basically on Thanksgiving Day, what I did was we, uh, I had a guest over who took off all the meat that she could possibly get off the bones with a knife in her bare hands. And so for the rest of the little hard to reach pieces of meat that was on the bone, I just put it in a, um, a freezer bag, put it in the freezer. And so today, got up this morning, I took a huge pot and I boiled that turkey. I poured the water off and then I boiled it again until the meat just fell off the bones. And I actually got a couple of baggies full, okay? You can see that there's still some carrots in, in there and some onions. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing how much meat is still left on the bone and you just don't even know it. And what I usually typically do is um, boil, you know, my leftover turkey to get all the seasonings off and um, make dog food out of it, you know. Get some of that gristle and all the icky pieces of meat that nobody likes to eat. And just, you know, grind it up real good. Get all those Thanksgiving seasonings off there. All the sodium and stuff and mix, mix it in with my dogs. Um, dry food and boom, they have wet food for quite some time. And actually that's what I was gonna do with this turkey here. But it just looked so good, like it wasn't the really crummy pieces of turkey that I thought it was going to be. It was actually, you know, some very decent, clean, white meat left on there. So I thought my dogs aren't getting this. <laughs> so what I'm going to make something tonight. I'm going to rig something up, y'all. So I don't really know how to make soup. I don't know why it's so hard for me to cook soup. It just doesn't turn out right. So, I'm just going to do what I know to do. And I'm going old school today. I am going to um, um, stir fry some onions and bell peppers and garlic. And then I'm going to um, also stir fry some beans and potatoes. Now, I thought I had butter beans in this house. Oh my gosh, I have no butter beans. I, I'm telling you, I want some butter beans. It's been a while and they're so delicious. So, all I could find in my cabinet, where I could find like nine other kind of, kinds of beans, but I decided to use cannellini beans. And, um, cause you know, they're a white bean, they're really good. Mm. I have already rinsed and drained these beans and just put them back in the can. And um, I am going to cut up some potatoes. So these are old school. Some of y'all probably didn't know you could get potatoes in the can. They're whole. They're kind of firm. They're not cooked all the way. I'm going to saute some of those also along with my onions and peppers and beans. And then I'm going to throw my turkey in there, y'all. Stir fry that a little bit. I have some broth. And you know what, everything that I'm doing today is, has, I'm doing a lot of, I'm using a lot of products that have already been prepped for me. Like this is a red pepper, green pepper, and onion. It's already been cut up, chopped up. I just didn't feel like doing it today. Um, so I'm just gonna put, I don't know, a cup or something like that in there. Saute that up in some vegetable oil. I'll put a tablespoon of vegetable oil in there. And then after I have sauteed that for a bit, I'm gonna throw the garlic in there and then um, do the beans and the potatoes. And then I'm gonna put that, sh that shredded turkey in there. And I'm gonna add some broth and 
and some, some pieces of kale, or I think it might be collard greens, I'm not sure. All of this stuff was in my freezer, um, has been in there for a couple of months, and you know, I was like, I'm just gonna take what I have and work with it, okay? So, well, my veggies are warming up. Y'all, I was thinking about something. Why do we overextend ourselves so much? I was just thinking about that today, and the reason I was thinking about it is because every day I'm so tired. And it's because I always do way too much. I know what my limitations are, but I still go past them. I just, you know, why do we do, why do we do these things? Well, for me, it just comes natural. I'm a nurturer, nurturing person by nature. Um, you know, I'm always doing too much, always trying to do for somebody. And I always will, I'm sure. So y'all, this is what the potatoes look like, okay? They look like little mini bananas. And um, this is Del Monte brand. And by the way, these are delicious mixed in with green beans. How many of y'all ever had green beans and potatoes seasoned with like ham and onions and salt and pepper and garlic and all that kind of stuff? My, um, my mother and my father, my father was a chef and um, they used to cook like that back in the day. Y'all, they cooked the kind of meals that lasted, stuck to your bones, you weren't hungry after you finished eating them. You know what I'm saying? Real food is what they actually cooked. And, you know, I remember some of those, some of the, well, I remember all of the meals. My father used to cook corned beef hash and, you know, he used to make liver and onions, which I won't eat now, but back then I ate it. Um, you know, um, I was talking to my sister last night and she mentioned neck bones. You know, we used to eat that kind of stuff. Goulash. Fried potatoes and onions, beans and cornbread. The kind of food that was not very expensive to make got you nice and full and everything and um, fed a whole family, you know? I mean, just a little bit went a long way. Hot dogs and pork and beans. I think now they call them beanie weenies. Shoot. Yo, that was good eating back in the day. And my mother used to make um, chicken and dumplings, y'all. Mm. I mean, she didn't use the, I think eventually, every now and then, she would use the biscuits in the can and just, you know, break them off, drop them in, the, in, in her pot of uh, chicken and gravy and all that kind of stuff. Um, or chicken and broth, whenever she used to make chicken and dumplings. But you know what? She made a lot of that stuff from scratch also. She was a scratch cook. And uh, I'm, I'm going in with my garlic, y'all. Of course I dropped a little bit of it on my stove. Let me get that up because the next thing you know, it'll stick to my burner and um, I'll have a mess to clean up. So y'all, this is smelling good. I'm gonna season this with salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and a Maggie cube, okay? My good friend, um, Rowena um, turned me on to these Maggie cubes some years ago. She was a, an excellent cook and she, she did a lot of cooking with beans, beans and rice. And it kind of rubbed off on me, you know. She was from Dominica and that island food that she would cook, oh my goodness, was so good. And um, so she kind of taught me a new way of cooking, y'all. But anyway, that's turning out very nice. So I'm gonna throw my potatoes in there now, okay? Start sauteing those up a little bit. And I will probably put just a scotch more of oil, just a scotch, because I think I put a tablespoon in there. So we'll do like a tablespoon plus a teaspoon worth of oil. I don't want my stuff sticking. 
for this pot. Woo! Smells excellent in here. So I'm sauteing my potatoes right now. I'll do that for a couple of minutes, and then I'll go in with my beans, y'all. Um, let me show y'all my turkey. It looks so good, it smells so good. Can y'all see that? Turkey and carrots and all those Thanksgiving seasonings that are in there. Off of that turkey carcass that I boiled, I got almost three of these baggies um, worth of turkey. And um, I took the broth and I put it inside of some bowls in the refrigerator to let it get cold so I could skim the fat off the top of the broth. The broth still tastes very good even though I um, uh, boiled the uh, turkey, then dumped it and boiled it again. That, that broth is still seasoned very well, still tastes very good. And um, so I'm gonna use that. So, so far y'all, <laughs> we got uh, beans, potatoes. You know what? I have a little trash can right here. I have a couple of more potatoes in here. I might as well go ahead and use these because what else am I going to do with them? This is going to be too much for me. I'm going to have leftovers. As usual, let me turn this down a bit. I'm putting this on number four. Um, but this time when I have leftovers, I won't freeze them. I'll just eat them because I've already frozen the turkey for a couple of months. So I'm already using ingredients that have been you know, frozen in, in the refrigerator for a while, in the freezer for a while. Okay, y'all, check this out. I purchased this little gadget right here some years ago from Sur La Table. Sur La Table, S-U-R-L-A-T-A-B-L-E, Sur La Table, it's a French word. Anyway, it's supposed to trap the fat once you pour the broth in here. So let's see how well this thing works, y'all. I'm gonna lay a towel down just in case it doesn't um, do what it's supposed to do. So that's looking really good. Actually, let me go ahead and put my um, turkey in here too. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it all in here. I think it's kind of a little bit too much for me, but that's okay. Maybe I can give somebody some, le some of my leftovers. I got plenty of family, and I triple, <laughs> I put this in three baggies because I didn't, I was gonna refreeze it, but then I thought, you know what, mm -mm. let me just go ahead and cook this. And actually I actually have three baggies, and then I have, so I have three fold and lock baggies, and then this baggie, because I didn't want to get any kind of a freezer burn on this. And I do have freezer paper too, by the way. Um, but I can use whenever I put my meats and stuff like that in the freezer. Oh my gosh, this, oh, <laughs> y'all, this smells amazing. And check this out, I love that I kept my, um, the carrots and things like that. So I have all of these big chunks of carrots in there, along with some celery and um, some uh, some, a little bit more onions and all that good stuff that was inside of my uh, turkey. So y'all, my seasonings, don't they look amazing? And they taste even better than they look. I also have some red pepper flakes in here. Um, I don't have too much salt in here because my uh, turkey broth is uh, still seasoned very well. So, you know, I'm just gonna season this to taste. Just call me Chef Lena, y'all. <laughs> I hope I don't forget to put my kale in there. Anyways, y'all, check this out. So I boiled the turkey broth. I have this size bowl, then I have a larger bowl and a smaller bowl that's filled with this broth. And I'm gonna try to pour it into this strainer without Spilling it, but just because I might spill it anyway, I'm gonna put a towel down, okay? Y'all probably can't see this because of this frying pan. But, anyways, 
So here is my wonderful broth. Can y'all see that? You can see that there is a little bit of grease on top of there, a little bit of fat. So I'm going to pour it into here, okay? Let's see if it works. Let's see if it traps the fat. Oh. Well, so far, only broth is going into the cup. Oh, yeah. That's going to work just fine. I can see that it's going to trap the fat. Check this out. You can start to see how it's trapping the grease. Now, there's not that much grease in my turkey um, broth, but there is enough that I don't want it, you know, in my soup, my stew. I'm not quite sure what to call what I'm making, but check out how much it trapped. That's a wonderful invention, and I'm glad to see that it works. Okay? Now, let me put this in the sink, y'all. But anyway, y'all, we were talking about overextending ourselves. What, why do we do these things, you know? Um, we work until we're too tired to work. Then we go to bed late and get up early. And then we run, run, run all day long. I'm saying we, but I mean me. <laughs> Even if I'm just in my house, I'm still doing stuff. I'm still just doing way too much. And I find that I just, I'm tired. You know, and it's just like, you know why you're tired? Because you're doing too much. It's so hard for me to just you know, chill and rest like I used to do before technology came out with cell phones and all these handheld video games and even solitaire. You don't need a deck of cards anymore. You know, we're doing everything with our computers and stuff and all this new technology, right? And so you don't, you, what you used to do to relax, like let's say you used to actually take a deck of cards out and play dominoes or checkers. Now, you're doing it all on your cell phone, so literally everything you need to do, you can do it on your cell phone. And so your mind is like constantly going, going, going. You're always at it. Now let me taste this. This is what, it's, this is what I'm gonna taste, hold on y'all. <laughs> you know what? I can cook a little bit. You know what? I can cook a little bit. I had to say that again. I'm gonna put the rest of my spices in here just because it's got those red pepper flakes in there that I want. And I'm going to turn this up to, I'm gonna put it on high y'all, but just for a few minutes because I'm going to pour my broth in here and I want it to come to a boil. And once it starts boiling, I'm gonna put my um, my kale in there. Oh, that's the perfect amount. But you know what? I think I'll add just a little bit more broth because I want I want to sip on that broth. It's cold outside, y'all. It's it was so cold outside. I'm, it just felt like Antarctica Antarctica outside today. That wind was blowing so hard. It was absolutely abusive. It's freezing cold out there. So I'm going to have a little turkey soup for my soul. Y'all remember that series, Chicken Soup for the Soul? Those books that were out, I don't know, back in the 90s, was it? I'm not sure when they came out, but those chicken soup books, man, those, those were some good books. And, um... I remember reading the little stories in those books, like, like you could get chicken soup for the nurse's soul or chicken soup for the basketball player's soul or whatever. Um, well, this is going to be a little turkey soup for the soul. Turkey soup, turkey stew, I don't know. It just is turkey something. And so this is, <laughs> this is actually smelling ridiculous. Um, I need to taste this again. 
It's not boiling yet. I'm gonna get a different spoon. You know, I don't like to eat out of the pot when I'm at home. <laughs> I really, literally do, even if I'm not on camera, I sample my food with a different spoon. I'm the only person that I know that can cook one meal and have at least eight or nine uh, spoons and forks in the sink when I'm done cooking that meal. Because I just use a new spoon and fork for everything. I do the same thing with cups. It's like, it's like I can't use the same cup all day long to drink my water. I have to get a fresh cup. Okay, let's see how this is tasting, y'all. Oh my gosh. It tastes like I put my heart and soul into it. Turkey soup for the soul, y'all. Okay, now, if any of you guys were watching my YouTube channel back in October, you know that I went to the farmer's market. Three months later, I still have those collard greens. Remember those big collard greens? Those of you guys who are watching my channel, they were like, those leaves were like this tall. I washed them, dried them, put them in the freezer. And the good thing about doing that is whenever you put them in the freezer, they become almost like large pieces of parsley. They just flake um, so easily. And you can just drop them in there like that. And so I'm going to put as much of these in there, well, three handfuls, because I really do need to just eat these collard greens. Um, let me stir that up, see how we're doing here. Wow. Is this, is this, is this Lena cooking this food? Yes, it is. Oh, the color is beautiful. Y'all, this looks so good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to let this come to a boil. Then I'm going to put a lid on it turn um, the stove down to low and let it cook for like 40 minutes. And then, then it's gonna be on y'all. I'm not gonna have, you know, cornbread or biscuits or anything like that with it. Cause I got, I have those hearty potatoes and, and beans in there. I really don't need bread on top of that. Although I love bread. I'm just gonna let this do its thing and this is a large, for me, this is a large pot of food. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. And then I'm going to enjoy a nice bowl along with some of my um, grape juice that I juiced just, I juiced three pounds of grapes yesterday, y'all. This grape juice, <laughs> I wanted to sing after I tasted it. I was like, ah, it was so good, look at that. That's pulp down there, and I'm gonna drink it all. It, it tastes like I'm drinking a jar of just grapes, like real grape juice. And I love consuming fruit and vegetable juice because it gives you so much energy that you can actually overextend yourself. And then when you get really tired, you drink more juice. That's what I tend to do. But anyway, I'm going to try to take it down a notch and stop extending my, overextending myself so much, y'all, and just try to enjoy life a little bit more. I found a deck of cards the other day. Um, I was going through an old box, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to play solitaire, actual solitaire. I have puzzle books that I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to start enjoying life a little bit more unplug a little bit, and just do me instead of all these electronics. Okay, y'all, so it's boiling right now. I'm going to put this on low. Put my lid on here, set my timer for 40 minutes, and then come back and enjoy some nice turkey soup for the soul. I'll let y'all see it when it's done. Okay, everybody. My, um, it's been 34, 36 minutes. I'm going to call this done. Turn the stove off. 
Good Lord, I reckon. This smells some kind of good. Mm, Y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to end up hurting myself in this kitchen. Y'all, this is so incredibly beautiful. When I um, put the camera on pause, I put a tablespoon of butter in here because I just felt like it would add something to it. Okay? And I actually have here, I'm going to put it in a clear bowl so you guys can see what it looks like. It Look, look at my little pooches. Raven is down there. She can smell this turkey. She's not going to get any of it um, at all. <laughs> I gave her some of her, uh, the turkey that I, that I um, pulled apart for my dogs. She got it earlier. Y'all. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Doesn't that just look amazing? Looks very good. And although I'm not having cornbread or corn muffins or crackers, I am going to put some croutons. I have put melted butter and salt and pepper on these croutons. And I'm just going to put a few of them on the top here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, let me taste it. I don't know how to make traditional soup. Um, I, I just don't know how to make it. But I know how to rig things up in this kitchen. Oh my goodness. Get a little cannellini beans on there, a little potato. Oh, look at that. Woo! Okay, let me try this. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm so excited. And I just cannot hide it, y'all. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> hey! Mm. Mm -mm. mm. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> this tastes like a bowl of comfort. Y'all. If y'all have any kind of turkey or anything left over in the freezer from Thanksgiving or the last time you cooked baked the chicken or turkey or ham or whatever, get in there and make you some turkey soup for the soul if you have turkey. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful evening. Don't overextend yourself tomorrow. Give yourself a break. Play some solitaire. Okay? All right, bye y'all. Peace out.